Today I'm going to walk you through adding a version control system to your programming in Android Studio. This video is meant to teach anyone who is new or returning to programming in the FTC competition how to use Android Studio, SourceTree, and Bitbucket collectively to add version control to your programming. My team and I have had to figure out how to implement a version control system the hard way, so we've put together this video to give you a head start for the season. First, I will explain some concepts about version control. Second, we will walk through creating and editing your first repository. Lastly, we will explain what a merge conflict is and list a few helpful tips on how to avoid them. Version control systems track changes in a program allowing you to record the who, what, when, where, and why of changes to the code as well as allowing team members to access the most current code. Having version control is beneficial because you will have a backup of your programs and be able to track how they have changed throughout the season. A repository is a place where things are stored. A software repository, also known as a repo, is an accessible storage location for programs that your team can download or access. Google Drive is a common example of a repository for files. You can access things from an account on several different devices. Having a version control system implemented can be really helpful. For example, if your FTC laptop crashes at a competition and you need to change or upload the code, you will have a backup stored in the cloud. The repository has a backup of the data you saved and you can review that backup if you need to view previous changes. A push is when you take your local edited code and push it up to the cloud, or in this case, Bitbucket. It overrides the version in the cloud while keeping the change history. A pull is when you're in your local code and you want to pull up the repository to work on or add a branch off the team repository. In your code, you can create what's called a branch when you want to work on a piece of the code but not alter the main code yet. A branch makes a copy of the code you will be working on and puts it into a subfolder. When you finish changing the code into a branch, you can push it up to the original branch, also known as the master branch, to include any edits you just made. A good habit to have is to branch early and branch often. This means we want to have small, quick edits to our code and push them back to the master branch quickly so we aren't left with a bunch of tiny, incomplete edits to the master branch. Going through this, we will start with the code in the repository, pull it to the local repository, create a branch for the edit, make your changes, test your code, and then push the changes up to the repository. When we push the changes back to the repository, we are merging it. A merge occurs when you have changed code that you want to replace the old code with. Android Studio is where you work on your code locally, or code you're working on, haven't tested, or don't want to push up to the team repository yet. GitHub is where we get our sample code for FTC robots. You can make your repository on GitHub rather than Bitbucket. We use Bitbucket because it's free to keep our code from being publicly accessed, but there is a free trial for students on GitHub as well. SourceTree is simply something you use to help the code transition from local to cloud, or Android Studio to Bitbucket. In other words, SourceTree is the middleman between Android Studio and Bitbucket that smooths out the transition. Bitbucket is where your team will access your finalized code to download onto your bot. It's like the Google Drive. This is where we make push and pull requests. It's good practice to make sure a team member reviews your code before you push it to the main branch to double check the code. Now we're going to open up our Bitbucket and create a new repository to host all of our code. To do that, we go to the upper left corner of the page, click the white plus, then select repository. Now to get our code, we're starting with the FTC sample code provided. We open up GitHub, click on the green clone or download button on the right-ish side of the page. A small menu pops up with the link, click on the clipboard button on the right to copy it. Now we go back to source tree, go to file in the top left, and select clone slash new. Paste the link in the source path slash URL box. Finally, we hit the blue clone button again. The next steps can get a little tricky, so you need to follow the sequence exactly. Click on settings in the top right, select origin, edit, next to the remove button. Go back to Bitbucket, copy the link, paste it back in source tree in the URL slash path box. 
click OK. And then go back to source tree for the next steps. To branch, you go to the main source tree page, select branch up at the top, create a name for your new branch, and select create branch. To push, you are starting in the main source tree page, select commit in the top left corner, create a message for any changes you made to the code, and then hit push at the top right next to that. Check off the branches you are pushing up and select push in the bottom right corner. For merging, you can go to Bitbucket and see the merge requests and previous merges that have been made. To merge, we're going to source tree, double clicking on master under branches on the left side, right clicking and selecting the folder. In this case, we used test merging test into the current branch, selecting confirm, hitting push up at the top, going back under branches, and then deleting test, and then pressing confirm. This makes sure that we don't have any branches that are left outside of the master branch. A merge conflict occurs when one branch is created off the master branch, and a different branch was created to work on the same part at the same time. One of the programmers will push their code back to the master branch, but the second programmer will have a merge conflict because the last code they pulled from doesn't match the code in the master branch now. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more FTC content. If you want some more information on this, you can go to the links listed in the description below. Stay awesome nerds!